Greetings and salutations, mine and model maniacs. This is Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker coming to you with a proof start video. <laughs> of Frankie Day's pre war service aircraft, 1935 to 41. Group build. <laughs> Alright fellas, uh, Frankie's got this uh, group build going on and I put the call out to you modelers, get off your duff. Let's join this group build, let's make this exciting and fun like all the other group builds. I know we got stuff going on and our lives are complicated, boo hoo. Let's get out there and support Frankie with this group build fellas, come on now. What do you say? Eh? Eh? Enough said, enough chastisement. Eh? I'm gonna cry. Alright, this is what I'm going to do for Frankie's uh, group build. It's the old frog kit of the uh, Martin 167 Maryland. This is one of these bombers that uh, the Martin Corporate, Martin Air Cor Aircraft Corporation made. And we didn't want it, so we kind of sold it to the Brits and the French. <laughs> It was kind of like obsolete before it even got started, but uh, it's kind of a interesting looking plane. I'm going to do it just right, like in the box art right here. I'm going to do it in the free French uh, markings here. They're pretty cool looking. It's got a little camel icon. Uh, I'm a camel. <laughs> and they got these big uh, cross, -de, cross de Lorraine crosses or something on the fuselage. That's pretty cool looking. All right, let's look over the kit. Uh, let me stick this down the way. Yeah. All right. Here's some sprues. As you can see, it's a uh, old chunky monkey plastic. Uh, you know, the technology with that graders, lots of flash, raised uh, panel lines. I don't know about you guys, but when I see the the profile of this fuselage, I see shades of the Black Widow. Especially back here in the back section, kind of makes me think of the the P61 Black Widow, but this is the Martin Maryland. All right, next sprue, just a mirror of the other one, the other side of the fuselage, propeller, the engines. At least they give you two rows of the engines. Paint it, but the uh, they sell coverings here, are, uh, two pieces. Alright, they give you the option of uh, the, the landing gear up or the landing gear doors open. The cockpit is very basic, it's just uh, seats and the pilots and the control yoke. There's the drum for the gunner, the back stabilizers, the landing gear, some other accoutrements to tailwheel the antenna. Those pilots are horrible, but I like them. Ah! Looks like some ex mimes from the Rue de Morgue uh, joined the Air Corps. Mm. <laughs> Horrible, but I like them. Alright. Comes with a stand, the rest of the back part stabilizer, some guns. Very, very basic kit, fellas. Very, very basic. Uh, you know, the wings, like I said, hardly any panel lines at all. And the ones that are on there are really lightly uh, raised. Just a mirror of all the rest of those. There's the decals. I'm going to be using these. And I'll have the uh, French roundels and the Lorraine crosses with them. That would be cool looking. It has like two sets of uh, insignia per wing. I won't be using the British. And the uh, clear parts. Which aren't too bad for rattling around the box for like 40 plus years. A little lick of uh, future will take care of any scratches or scuffs. But uh, yeah, fellas, that's my entry. I'm gonna be getting on this real soon. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more people involved and make us a good group build. A lot of colorful planes happened between World War One and World War Two in that time frame of 35 to 41. So uh, let's get off our duffs, fellas. Let's make us a fun group build. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Till then, this is Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker saying. I'll feed a Zane, my diamond on head in. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Tschüss.